<laughs> really? Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Wow. You always know how to make me laugh. It's just so special about you. I can think of a lot of things that are special about you. <sighs> whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I'm fine. I know what will make you feel better. What? Oh. Amanda! Amanda, honey! Oh, you better get going. I know. I just love you so much. I know you do. I will see you tomorrow, though, right? Oh, at school, yes. Of course you will. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Yeah, that's what I love about you. You're the best girlfriend ever. Goodbye. Goodbye. Mm. Amanda, when I call you, you need to come. Or, oh, you are such just the. I don't even know what to call you anymore. You never listen to me. What? What are you talking about? He left. Is there a problem? Your boyfriend is not the problem. You are. You're a naughty little girl, and you never listen to me. Stop talking to me that way. I am your daughter, and I'm not a naughty little girl. I'm 16. It doesn't matter how old you are. You're such a little brat. Well, I'm going to see what I can find for dinner. As if you deserve any. I do deserve it. I've never even done anything to you. Whatever. I don't care. Is my boyfriend the problem? Your boyfriend is not the problem. I already said that. You are. Love is a beautiful thing. And I want that to flourish for you. If you wanted him to leave, I, I could have told him. He did leave, and that's okay. He is not the problem. And he never has been. Just gotta hit the lights. Perfect. How is it possible that we're already out of food? I don't even know what I'm gonna tell her that. I have nothing to give her for breakfast. Good morning, Mom. Oh, Amanda. Uh, what's for breakfast? Um, well, um, we don't have anything. We're out of food. Mom, you said there was going to be food this morning. Well, obviously, I stated myself wrong. And I'm sorry that that is just too hard for you to get. Uh, hey. It's stop! No, you need to understand. I say no, we have no food. We have any food. Please, you said you wouldn't hit me anymore. Well, you said you wouldn't be a bratty girl anymore. Looks like our promises have changed, obviously. Your promise is very different from the one I made. Stop sniffing. Oh, now you mean my belt. Come on. It's actually a dress or whatever it is. I gotta go to work. No, you have to take me to school. No, 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 I don't. Better be done, door. Fine. Danny will give me a ride to school. I know he will. That sounds great. I love you too. Okay. 
I just finished getting ready. Bye. I'm here to rescue my damsel in distress. Thank you so much for coming. You have no idea how much it means and... Danny! Not right now. Why not? Because I need to get to school. We both do. Uh, yeah, you're right. Come on. Weird. Whoops. I'll have a better car soon, I promise. It's okay. Thanks so much. No problem, but first I need to talk to you in a private phone. Sure. What did you want to talk about? I sensed a little distance between you and me this morning. I just want to make sure everything's okay with me and you. That'd be cool. Of course we are. Why wouldn't we be? I don't know. But Danny, please. I'm just not interested right now. You should be interested anytime I am interested. Well, I don't think that's how relationships work. Oh. Uh, sure. Well, I'll meet you after lunch. Or maybe a little bit before, okay? Ah, we'll see how it works out. Um... Sure. What does she do all day? I don't know. Really disgusting, huh? She kind of just sits there. Ugh, your voice is more disgusting than her at times. Girls, I think we need to do something about her. Like what, Veronica? I don't know, but follow my lead. Oh, never mind, you guys are idiots. I need to do this myself. Hey, you up there? Me? Yes. Follow me. Okay. What did you want to talk to me about? Oh, I didn't really want to talk to you about anything. Then why did you bring me in here? Because I just wanted to know. Well, actually, I wanted to give you some beauty tips. Because as we can both see, no one ever has. Um, if you're trying to make fun of me, my style is fine. <laughs> That's what you want to think. Leave me alone, Veronica. I'm not interested. Okay. Well, I tried. Oh, is it lunchtime already? I have a date with my boyfriend. Since when do you have a boyfriend? Oh, bye. That seems really odd. Oh, lunchtime. That's what I was supposed to be, Danny. I gotta go. There you are, Danny. Danny? Danny! You made it. I did. Danny, what the... So blind. So blind. <laughs> hey. I've been looking all over for you. Where have you been? Oh, I don't know. Where have you been? <laughs> Look. If I had to know where you were, it wasn't my fault. Mm. Yuck. I can smell it. Smell what? Veronica's perfume. All over you. Hey, how do you know about that? I knew it wasn't a lie. How long did you do this? How long have you been sneaking behind my back? Just today. I didn't even think we were still cool together because after that fight. 
It wasn't a fight. It was you trying to kiss me every single minute. Sorry, I didn't want that, but that's obviously my needs are not important to you. Uh oh, your needs are important to me. Get away from me. I don't want you anymore. And I don't ever want to see you ever again. So just stay away from me. You still have another girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> What do you want? Who the heck are you? My name's Violet. I've been following you around all day. And you've been having a really bad day. I want to be your friend. I don't even know you. Listen. There were girls mean to you. Your boyfriend cheated on you. You got picked on. I saw it all. I, I used to be that way too. I don't want you to end up like me. What's that supposed to mean? It's okay. Don't you want a friend? <laughs> yes. And I really need one. Come here. <laughs> Let's go out for ice cream. School's over anyways. Early release today. Okay. <laughs> See, if only people knew the real you. Uh, I don't know. You know, Jesus isn't all that bad. Just give him another chance. No, I tried that guy. He, you know, no. I don't want to go through that again. He doesn't really help. He just might not have been working in your life at that time. It takes time. Are you sure? Positive. Well, do you have a Bible we can read? I always carry it with me. And, yeah. So, are you ready? To give him another try? Yeah. Thanks, Violet. Anything for you, Amanda. I guess you really needed two friends. <laughs> yeah, you and the Lord. Thanks. No problem.